Hey everybody, this is Julen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Planting with Julen. In today's video, I am going to be converting a handful of my dramatic house plants that give me a lot of issues into a Lekka ball system. So lightweight, expandable clay balls. And I've done this once for the channel and I am new to using Lekka balls with my collection. But for whatever reason, it's working good for me and I'm going to continue experimenting here and there and sharing with you my journey with Lekka balls on the channel. If you watch my plant tour, I have a bunch of babies in my collection. Most of them are in my studio that I converted from soil into Lekka balls and I was able to save my plants. So in today's video, I went through the greenhouse and I picked out five plants that I've been struggling with and I am going to Las Vegas in a week for a week and I'm really nervous about leaving these plants unattended for a week with no water so I think this is another good time for me to convert them into Lekka balls because the Lekka balls do hold more water than soil is what I'm thinking especially I can add more water and I think it'll be good for them. I want to go ahead and experiment with these babies and I think this is a good time for me to do another handful of plants converting them with the Lekka balls. If you watch my Instagram stories, I did convert my other Sigonium to try to save it from bugs and this one is just the same thing. I just don't have luck with them. They are a hit or miss with me and maybe I have two or three that do really good in my collection. I think one or two in my bathroom, one by my fountain is doing really good. The rest I've been struggling with and I want to go ahead and convert this one. I also have a goldfish plant that I've been struggling with. This is what's left of it so I want to try to convert that. I also have my lipstick plant which this was a really big plant that I got in West Hollywood sometime last year and I've just been struggling with it. been living in my greenhouse. This is my second Pothos Enjoy. What's left of it? This was a full plant. My original one was a full plant. For whatever reason, variegated Pothos. Pothos do not like living here in Santa Monica with me so I want to try to convert that because my Marble Queen Pothos that I converted into Lekka Balls is doing really good so I want to go ahead and experiment with that. And then last but not least, my dramatic zebra plant. What's left of it? and it accidentally fell down and this section here was the same here and I tried saving it and I wasn't successful but I do see some new sprouting here so I'm just gonna keep it as is. I don't recommend this plant and if it doesn't get water every two days it'll just hang over like Gumby so I think it'll like living in the Lekka balls better than soil and this lives in my bathroom if you watch my plant. So these are the five babies that I want to experiment with and I think maybe in a month when my grandma's here I can see how these babies are doing and then when I go to the Middle East in two months, if they're not happy by then, I'm going to switch them up and maybe put them in a different setup. So if you enjoy watching me and my journey with Lekka Balls, give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of all of the soil. I'm going to bring in my green potting tray and get all of the soil out as much as I can and then I'm going to take the plants out to the front and then wash out the root system to get as much soil off of them before I convert so them. Let's go ahead and get the green potting tray and let's clean them out of the soil and I'm excited to see if they like the new conversion and maybe I'll get more growth out of this Poltos Enjoy but this is the last time I'm ever buying this plant. It's just such a stressful So I am wearing a pullover because today is the first cold day of the year and it is like almost 2 p.m. on the 20th of November so finally as we're heading towards December it is finally chilly it actually rained this morning and there was thunder last night and this morning so all of my plants in the front got watered from the rain but because of this big tree above me the rain did not hit any of the plants in the back. This tray has seen so many plants I just this thing is like now broken into multiple pieces my grandma has tape <laughs> on both sides of it holding it together okay let's work with the first plant i just i love you zebra plant but from far i just this is my one and only and i won't be getting this plant ever again this is a very dramatic plant and i just feel bad for it so i'm just trying to save it but yeah there's some new growth popping up here so Let's see, I wanna say this is gonna be a successful conversion. I love being watered very often and it'll tell you. So, I think this is good. Do I have my little pool here? Yeah. Not 
not trying to stress out the plant too much, but trying to get as much soil as I can off. And then I'll go in with my holes after. Okay, plant number one, ready to be converted. Use this white plastic planter for something else. Begoniums, I'm telling you. This plant gives me a headache. No more. I will not ever buy another Sigonium again. Very stressful. My variegated bulb is my one and only arrowhead that I would buy and try to see if it works in the collection but they're just very uh, needy plants and the turnover in leaves are quite quick and also they attract bugs so you gotta look really careful all around the plant wow this is a very big root ball So today is my day off from teaching and dancing and I'm finally home on a Wednesday because the last four Wednesdays I was in San Diego for dance school but I'm giving myself a break and I won't be back in San Diego for another three Wednesdays. So it's just nice to be home and you know these little projects like this they might not be exciting as like a haul video but this is part of plant life and this is very important for me and these little things matter to me trying to save the plant these are investments i spend money on these plants so if i can try to save them and you know also it's fun to experiment too with plant life i i want to go ahead and dedicate some time to to do this to the plants that need my help i just feel bad for them if i don't and i think you know these problematic plants need some attention just as much as like let's say like a variegated monstera i, I love all plant life so i never want to favor a rare house plant and you know set aside these guys that are common and uh, dramatic i like to give my attention to all of them so this is my one dedicated video let's see how it likes living in the new converted system I'll go ahead and just throw the roots in here as I work and then this soil if anything I'll just use it for propagation in the future nothing's wrong with it okay let's see this is my one and only goldfish plant I'm trying to think where I got it probably from West Hollywood sometime last year and I just haven't been really successful with this plant. So there's two sections here. Okay. All right, my battery died. I have a new battery and I'll put my hair up in a second. So two days ago, it was in the 80s, like 88 degrees. And I was enjoying doing my beach workouts on the beach. And then two days later, there was lots of rain and thunder and now it's 55 degrees that's why i have a pullover and i have boots on and actually i would like to put on another jacket to layer over but then it's kind of hard to work with plants with a lot of layers so i'll make me a green tea latte after this with almond milk and there's a new trader joe's that opened up near me i know there's one close to me like two miles away off of olympic and I think Barrington but now this one is closer to me so it's like 26 in Wilshire so I can actually go to that Trader Joe's on my way back from the beach so it's nice and if you watch my IG stories I did kind of show what kind of house plants they had because they have house plants and succulents cacti there a lot of my plant friends get their plants from Trader Joe's I'm trying to think if I ever got I got one I got a I think a philodendron Xanadu? No. I got a philodendron psyllium from Trader Joe's in Las Vegas three years ago. And it's big now. It's living in one of my white planters in my studio. But I haven't bought a plant from Trader Joe's since then. Let me know in the comments if you buy plants from your grocery store. 
Okay, so let me get rid of this. So this is what I ended up with. Let's see how much soil I can get out from the roots. There's one, two, three sections of the goldfish. I might put this in a hanging planter with Lekka balls. Look at how cute that is. I hope I can save it. It's just not happy. Okay, this is my problem child. Never again. This is the last time I ever buy the plants. Second one, and they were big and full. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's from the growers. I don't know. That I got just dramatic plants, but I've never had good luck with the Pultus and Joy and both of them that I got, this one and my original one came from the same nursery in West Hollywood. But I don't know, maybe if I get another one from somewhere else, maybe it might do better on me, but I'm just kind of over it at this point. I want to say this Pultos is going to love living in Lekka Balls because my Marble Queen is doing so good. I'm so happy I did that conversion. And I've been wanting to do it for my photos and joy and I'm finally finally getting to it so I get mad at that I told myself I would do it and here I am let's so see what's going on with the root system here and what I can see try to keep that root system there clean this off but time to clean up the plant as well. This is really crazy. Let me know if you have the Pultos and Joy and do you find it to be a dramatic plant or easy. Okay. I want to say... Alright, this is it. This is what's left of my second full plant and my last time I ever buy this plant. I'll style it with the Lekka Balls shortly. Okay, last plant. My lipstick plant. And at one point this was giving me beautiful blooms. I think it's like bright red. I don't know, I've just been struggling with this plant. It was living in my patio at one point and then it's just been living in my greenhouse. So let's clean up anything that's dead. This is why I can't have long nails and I've never been really a long nail type of girl. I've always liked short nails just because I work out and I'm in the fitness industry. And I work with plants, so it's just better to have short nails. But I like short, fun nails. So I'm getting my nails done in a week. So let's see what kind of chrome my nail guy does for me in Las Vegas. Okay, getting to the root of this problem. And this is a very fun, relaxing afternoon project for me. I was thinking while I was at the gym this morning, like, okay, with the rain and it's cold, and it's a day off, what should I do? And I'm leaving in a week and I wanna set my plants up. I'm like, I'm gonna do this conversion. I think it's time. It's been a while since I did a like a ball conversion video. And I think these guys are gonna appreciate the conversion. Okay. Some interesting things happening here. I don't know if I can save you, I'll try. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. Hmm. I have to put this one in the hanging planter depending on how big the root system is. I'll try my best to get as much soil as I can out of this. What you doing, Abby? You hanging out? This is a nice section. I hope it likes the conversion. It's 
another good time for me to style the plant while saving it. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna take all of my plant babies to the front of my house where my hose is and hose down the root system, try to get as much soil off of it and then set them up. Can't wait. What a fun project. And I'll give it fertilized water before I leave in a week. I'll let it settle in first before I give it fertilized water. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. Can't get mad. Let's see. Is this it? Okay, this is it. My whole plant, what's left of it. So, let's see. I got this. I got this this and this so this is everything gathered up and this is what i'm gonna wash right now so let's go to the front of my house where my hose is hey i'm so excited so i still have everything here in my hand i'm gonna try to just keep it like this and try to get the soil off this way oh the water is so cold Looking good, crazy roots. Wearing my boots because it is cold. For me at least, being a Hawaii girl, 55 is cold for me. I think this is the best I can get it. Part two, I have extra Lekka balls if need be, but I have a bunch that is soaking in this Tiffany blue tub. If I organize my potting bench on a budget, then you know I got this from the 99 cent store and I love it. I think I got it for like two bucks. So I have all of my babies washed up and I found jars that are upcycled in my collection to fit each one so it's quicker for me to pair them for this part of the video and I also wanted to show you my converted Sigonium that I didn't do on camera and I did this in the middle of the night I want to say two weeks ago before I filmed for my plant tour because it was getting attacked by bugs and I tried saving it and then I ended up converting it in Lego balls and so far so good the root system is doing good in this so this is just a little update and I wanted to just share that with my you. zebra plant here I found this jar and this is just an upcycled strawberry jam jar from Trader Joe's so I do that too I, I try to avoid plastic when it comes to buying things and if I can get a jar bottle then I know I'm gonna upcycle it for plants so I think it's gonna be happier in this setup so these have been soaking for a while and then I just kind of do this to get the balls to go down a little but once I add water then they're gonna be able to fill up the plant more in the bottom but I wanted to make sure I knew that it would just fit in here Good. So here's the first one. I like that already. Good luck to my plant. And then I have my lipstick plant here. And it's crazy. I have some water here on the bottom already. And let's see how I'm going to style this. This is my first time. The roots kind of look crazy oh I see little cute blooms here they're like maroon how cute to check on them 
By the time my grandma arrives in a month, I should be seeing hopefully signs that they're happier or I'm gonna have to make a switch. Baby down there. I think you're good. Aw, I love that already. I'll dump some of the water out. best I can do for it so wish itself luck. I know it looks crazy but I like to experiment with my plants and I think it's gonna live a happier life in this setup so I'll keep you posted. Let's move this on the side here. Don't know where to put you. Not enough room here. Okay. Let's move on to my Sagonium. This is a big root system and I know I could chop it down but I feel sad for it so I'm going to give it a big jar here. I wish this one luck. This is the last resort for him. I now have, I'm trying to think in my collection for my arrowheads, who's in like the balls besides the one I just showed you. Sigonium in Lekka Balls. Otherwise, I know for sure the one I just showed you is liking the Lekka Ball system. Okay. This is it. Crazy looking, but I think yeah. I think it's gonna like it. Okay. Moving along to oh, my Pocos and Joy. So, let's Style you really quickly before I add the balls in. This Sunday, after I'm done teaching my morning classes, I'm gonna go to Shannon's. And um, she just told me that she accidentally brushed upon the Opuntia I gave her for her housewarming gift, which is one of the babies from Las Vegas that Kira gave me to give all of my friends and she had it stuck in her skin and it was like that is something I'm very careful with when it comes to touching these opuntias that have these little fine pricks on them because I know once they get on you it's so hard to take them off of you but I'm going over to her house because she's having a, a girl's get together with other friends of hers which I don't know I don't know any of them just Shannon um, but she's gonna do like a decorating pumpkin get together catch up with Shannon and see how her plants are doing this is the best I can do for this plant this thing is such a headache I think it's gonna love life I'll probably end up bringing it on my shelf. Alright, so this one is the last one. And I'm going to try to have it set up in this plastic planter. And this is the plastic planter that I got from one of my online purchases. I got some Hoyas from Alaska. And the seller gave me these white plastic planters with them. So looking my peperomia glabella which i want to think is a scandens is living in one and my second string of dolphins is living in one but they're both in soil and doing good so i'm gonna try my goldfish plant in lecco balls i'm trying to think oh my second marble queen potos is living in a plastic planter with lecco balls and doing really good so i wanted to try another plastic planter with lecco balls I have a little debris here from the tree. I have to make sure next time I soak my Lego balls overnight, I put it underneath my tiki blue table because I have all these little debris from the pine tree in my Lego balls. 
Okay, I think this is the best I can do for now, and I am not mad at this. I think it's gonna like living in this setup. I'm gonna let you hang and be. What do you guys think? This is a fun project. I'll wipe everybody down. Yeah, I think it's doing, gonna do good. All right, let's clean It's up. getting really chilly and I'm gonna go inside and make me a matcha latte with almond milk to warm up and then edit more videos. But before I wrap up today's video, I wanna do another plant friend shout out. This one is going to Janice. She says here, posted up today's planting with Julian. I love your potting shows and oh my God, that watch chain is stunning. I hope that my tiny baby grows up to that big. I think that Cressilla, that big watch chain is like a hybrid of a watch chain because my watch chain that I've had for a long time on my succulent shelf is been with me for a while but I've never seen it get like bigger than what it is now and I've had it for a long time so I just think it's just a different kind of Cressula a hybrid of that watch chain I'm putting on the plastic hook while I'm talking and I, I love it a lot so thank you so much for supporting the channel and I hope you enjoyed today's planting with Julian, converting these babies into Lekka balls. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about today's planting with Julian project, converting these plant babies into Lekka balls. My hands are freezing and everything from my tree is falling on me. Okay, I think you're good to go. What do you guys think? I'll wipe everything up in a second. We'll see where I put this. Maybe somewhere in my studio if I can find a place. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I like experimenting and sharing with you my journey with Lego balls. And it's also fun to watch how plants do with the Lego balls. All of my Marvel Queen photos, both of them, and Lego balls are doing really good. My Epidendrum Orchid is doing really good. And a bunch of other plants. Including my Aglio Nemo that Carrie gave me is doing really good in Lego balls. I'm really excited to test out a bunch of new babies and hopefully save them. And I love giving them a second chance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads. Until next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.